This is me scurrying up a ridge in Iceland, trying to catch a glimpse of one of the world's youngest islands. I'm all the way up here because you can't visit the island, but we'll get to that. This island, called Surtsey, emerged off the coast of Iceland in 1963. It started out with discoloration of the ocean, then explosions as water mixed with magma. The volcano quickly built itself up out of the ocean, and the lava flows replaced those explosions. This was an incredible opportunity for scientists to observe the process of a new island forming, and they named this new style of eruption Surtsean after the island. After three and a half years, the eruption had ended, but a new question had emerged. Once a new island forms, what happens next? In 1965, the Icelandic government set up a nature reserve, sealing the island off to keep it pristine for scientists. Algae was found growing on the island in 1964, and its first plant took root in 1965. Mosses showed up in 1967, then lichens in 1970. Birds also started nesting in 1970. They found that many of these first pioneering species were plants with big buoyant seeds that could float over on ocean currents and that were capable of growing in this rough, sandy soil. By 2003, the island had become one of southern Iceland's most popular breeding grounds for seals. And in 2004, puffins were found breeding on the island. Today, it's recorded 60 species of vascular plants, 75 bryophytes, 71 lichens, 24 fungi, 335 invertebrates, and 89 birds and seals. Researchers publish a progress report every several years, and the island will likely continue to yield plenty more insights as it develops. This is the first first of five videos about volcanic islands, so I'll see you tomorrow.